What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. And right now, we're going to be talking about this zero chill promo action. Uh, what I like to do to make sure that you guys know what's going on is to kind of prepare yourself for what's happening. So, many of you guys that log in, you're going to get um, you're going to get this alert right here where it's going to show you exactly what's happening. Uh, Ultimate team in the zero chill. So it's going to be pretty much the same exact thing. Many of you guys already got this. Uh, for those of you guys that didn't get it, if you log out of Mutt and go back in, it's usually going to come up. So this is something that you guys have been asking about. Um, it's all cool for predictions, but one of the things that go on with it, this is like one of the exciting times where we get a lot of out of position players. And the game, like I said, for me, this is my favorite part of the promo. Since Zero Chill started or whatever they've called it, the Christmas promo has always been the best because they always give out some really, really OP players and we're able to have a lot of, um, you know, it's a lot more fun with the game. Even with the state that Madden is in right now, I think a lot of us are going to have fun with the out of position players. So it's going to work in that regard. So right now with the way that everything is going on, a lot of you guys, as far as team goes, it's very, very difficult to kind of assess what you need to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you guys the way that I prepare and I always wanna make sure that you guys understand why I'm doing something and why it might pay off. Now, everything that goes on with Mutt, it's not predictable. Like you don't know when the market's gonna crash. You don't know what card's gonna be expensive. You don't really know a lot of what is gonna happen depending on one card drop or EA dropping a special edition player or any kind of weird stuff like that. What we do know though is that the set cards in all of these promos, we've been allowed to do what? Number one, complete sets. Number two, get back training. So what does that mean for you that's you know getting involved in Zero Chill? Yo, Jimai, what's Zero Chill? I never played Madden before. Or one of my veterans. All right, Jimai, I know what you're saying. We're gonna go ahead and create the player uh, you know, take the extra cards we get back as Nats, quick sell them, and have training. So it's a system to this, right? So say for instance, right, I complete this Khalil Mack and I get back 392 overall end cats. One of the things that are going to be happening with Zero Chill that's very, very important is that we may need to complete at least one or two sets of these master type champion sets to get back end cats, to get back training, to then go probably in the store and have, you know, training for rerolls. That's the thing that people don't really seem to get. You know, you look on the auction house, oh my God, I got a snipe, but you just get the card. Now EA is going to hit your pockets for the training. Usually you get a decent amount of training back when you complete the set, but not only that, these sets that come out, they go towards other things like getting additional XP, uh, completing the seasons, things like that. So it's going to be very, very important to stay tuned and understand how all that goes. The reason, again, that I point out the set situation is because a lot of you guys, you know, you want me to keep reminding you about it. And some of you guys that don't know about it, you may be more, you know, now you're going to know a little bit more and understand why some of us do complete a set, get back those additional cards. And in certain cases, you may keep some of the gnats that you get back most of the time we just raid sell them and take the training but you might want one of the cards back so that's something that you want to keep in mind as well the next thing that you want to take a look at how outdated is your team right because you know there's a lot of cards coming and just mark my words we're going to get obviously our first hot rock master gunslinger qb and you know for, for the zero chill we're going to get that ea is not going to let us go into the new year without getting that else they are probably just looking to not make any money at all they're going to definitely do that. They make a lot of money off of presents and all that stuff that goes into this promo. And it'll just make it a lot more for them if they give us a quarterback with Hot Rock Master and Gunslinger. So let's go ahead and take a, look, take a look at what I'm talking about. Is your team outdated? Look at what we recently did with the help of all you guys that were in my stream. Shout out to everybody that was in the stream that helped me build this O-line. My O-line right now, with the exception of Larry Allen, um, you know, they'll probably give us a new right guard soon. This is probably one of the best old lines in Madden, right? I don't want to say it's the top. You probably got somebody else at right guard souped up or something, and he's probably better, but I think Larry Allen is still pretty good right there. But everybody else that's here, I would say that we're pretty much up to date with the offensive line, right? So we don't need to pay attention to this right now, currently. When you go over to your tight end position, Jared Cook, He's been out for a while. He hasn't gotten, he, he, bro, no upgrades. He hasn't gotten anything else after the veteran. Um, I think that's what he is, right? So, oh, is he a heavyweight? What the hell is that guy? I don't know what he is. Let me see what he's doing. Um, okay, he's a veteran. That's what I thought. Okay, cool. So we haven't gotten any other upgrades for him. He's just been what he's been. It's nothing. This is where it starts to get interesting, right? I also don't have any value on the market for him. So selling him doesn't make any sense. 
So I would just leave him. Plus, I'm a Raiders theme team, and I'm not planning on leaving, so it doesn't really matter, right? So he would just stay where he's at. Darren Waller, a little bit outdated. We don't know what's gonna happen with that. The reason that I'm pointing these things out is this works for my team because they don't really have any recent upgrades. It's a chance they may get an upgrade or we can probably sell different parts of the card and be ready for zero chill. Like Darren Waller's last card is still probably valued at about 300K because he was a limited card. You know what I'm saying? So that's very, very important to understand. If you want to sell any of these cards, selling them now versus selling them later it can have different type of benefits. It could be something to where it absolutely was a great move. Like the way I did Kyle Pitts. I got rid of Kyle Pitts immediately because I realized he's not worth the money for my team. I'm not, I'm not gonna keep a 980K card, so I sold him. What happened a day later? He went down to 700K after uh, season two was announced. So there's a lot of new cards coming. You have to see what's outdated and what you have to get rid of. Bo Jackson, I like, I'm going to keep him. I don't care. He's going to stay there, all right? Does Patterson have to be here? No. I get a nice running back in the zero chill. Bye, Patterson. You're done, dude. Like, it don't really matter. I'm, I'm willing to part ways with him, right? This is how you have to dissect your team because you might have to sell right now in order to save that 20, 30K. You might have to. In my case, I don't because I'm settled in with the Raiders theme team, and no matter what really happens, these key players that I have, their value won't go up either way. But on your team, it might. You see what I'm saying? Like, say for instance, right? Say for instance, just, just to say, you know, I want to sell Rodney Hudson's top card. Because I believe that, you know, we're going to get the power-up pass, a 92 to 93 overall power pass, with Series 2. Let me get my coins now and grind back for him. Would that be smart for me to do that, though? Because am I going to lose more games because I'm getting shedded more often because I take the top card? What about Quentin Nelson? What about getting rid of his limited? These are things that you have to try to figure out because if it's more valuable later, then you know you could you know you keep it. You know they're not gonna really be doing much, but we are gonna get reduxes, and that's usually when everybody sells their actual limiteds. But Rodney Hudson was a limited, so I got his top card um, with a redux for like 400 and change. He's gonna still be around that rate after the new drop. Quentin Nelson, I could probably sell him right now for like 500k. Like yo, peace out. You know what I'm saying? But again. It all depends on what you're looking for with your team. The Bo Nose players, we know currently that these players are very cheap because of the reroll in the store. So these, you know what I'm saying? Like these don't make a difference. It's only certain key players. Like if I wanted to sell Bo and just say, you know what, I think they're gonna be, you know, they're gonna be dropping Eric Dickinson for zero chill. You know what I'm saying? Let me get my 500K right now. Something like that. Other than that, you gotta just sit back and be easy and just understand that there's gonna be a lot of different things that you have to do. So go over your team, see what you can get rid of now, if it's a limited or whatever it is, if you wanna take the risk, get rid of it. But just keep in mind though, right? Sometimes it's better to wait and just see how it works out because you might actually gain value in certain cards because they don't release a specific card at that position. And those are, that's when it gets tricky, which is why I'm just letting you know. Assess the situation and see what's going on. But Zero Chill will be here in a couple days, so we'll be ready for it either way. And that's what I wanted you guys to understand. Make sure you remember, try to complete at least one of the sets. Get back that additional training, you know, from actually completing the set. If you want to quick sell it, fine. You want to keep the player, fine. Those are just some really, really good tips. Obviously, the store is going to be a situation, and they're going to give us a new mission tab with the Zero Chill that's going to help us with the XP for season two but you guys already know i'm gonna be all over that with you guys so we're gonna be grinding those levels together all right guys good luck with zero chill i'll be there with you guys all the way i'm gonna see you guys and girls next time you enjoy your day until next time one love y'all